Our question is asking us how many grams of oxygen gas are in a 6.2 liter container at STP. STP means standard temperature and pressure. To solve a problem like this, whenever you're talking about grams, I want you to think of moles. We have a periodic table filled with units of grams per mole. So whenever someone's saying how many grams, to you that should mean to first find the number of moles, and then in the last step you'll be able to convert your moles into grams using the molar masses on the periodic table. For a problem <clears throat> with one gas that's at one set of conditions, the volume's not changing, it doesn't mention temperature or pressure changing, we have the choice of using PV equals NRT. We don't need the modified gas law because that one has changing conditions. We don't have a mixture of gases, so we won't use um, this bottom equation here, Dalton's law of partial pressures. Now up here I've put the shortcut. If the problem tells you that you're at standard temperature and pressure, which ours does, we have a shortcut because we know that any gas one mole of it at STP will equal 22.4 liters. It will take up a space of 22.4 liters. We're going to try solving it both ways just to prove the fact that we can use this shortcut, but if you don't remember that relationship, you can still do PV equals NRT, as long as you remember what the standard temperature and pressure are. So let's start with the longer way. And know that standard temperature and pressure means zero degrees Celsius, or if you add 273 to it, you have 273 Kelvin. Keep in mind, we wouldn't want room temperature for standard temperature because everybody's room is a different temperature. But something like zero degrees Celsius, we can keep standard. Our pressure at STP is always one atmosphere. Same as what we're feeling right now when we're at room at sea level. We're told in the problem that our container is, holds 6.2 liters and our gas will fill that container. We always know R because it's a given constant. It's always 0.0821 when you have your pressure in atmospheres, your volume in liters, you're working with moles, and your temperatures in Kelvin. And again, since we were asked for grams, we're first going to find our number of moles. You have two options. You can plug in your numbers into PV equals NRT and solve for N. Or I find it simpler oftentimes to rearrange first. N in PV equals NRT is being multiplied by R times T. So let's divide both sides by R times T to give us our N by itself. That will leave us with the number of moles will be equal to the pressure times the volume divided by the gas constant times the temperature. So I've plugged in the numbers. Our pressure is 1. Our volume was 6.2. Our R constant is always 0.0821. And our temperature at standard temperature and pressure is 273. The quickest way to get through this problem in your calculator, of course you don't really need one times, but let's pretend it wasn't always one. I'm giving you the tips for that. One times 6.2 divided by 0.8021 divided by 273. If you insist on doing these guys multiplied together, you could do one times 6.2 and then when you divide, make sure you use the parentheses symbol. Otherwise, it's going to divide by 0.0821, take that answer, and multiply by 273. And we don't want that. That's a crazy number of moles. You should always have a few number of moles unless you're talking about a gas under pressure, like a scuba diving tank or something holds more moles than usual. This is the same idea as when you take two separate conversion factors and you always multiply across the numbers on top of the fraction line and you always divide by the numbers on the bottom. Going ahead and just dividing and dividing again is a much quicker way than getting like 
finding out what that is and then dividing it into the top number. You should always try to think of ways to simplify and speed yourself along to help yourself get through an exam faster. Well, if you did all this, you should get the number of moles is equal to 0.28 moles. It told us it was oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is one of my, what I call the super seven elements. Oxygen exists as a diatomical molecule, O2. If you have one mole of O2, you take two times the 16 grams for one oxygen. And when we multiply those together, we get 8.9 grams of O2 are in 6.2 liter container at STP. Now let's do that shortcut. We have 6.2 liters, and we have the fact that at STP, one mole of any gas is equal to 22.4 liters. Whenever I see an equal sign, I'm thinking of a fraction, a conversion factor. And I never start with conversion factors. So I'm going to start with my 6.2 liters, and I'm going to set up my unit conversion to get out of liters and into moles. I know it's always 22.4 liters for one mole. And if you divide and do a little bit of rounding and stuff like that, you will once again get approximately 0.28 moles. You would then still take the 0.28 moles, use the masses on the periodic table for one mole of oxygen gas, O2, there's going to be 32.0 grams. And so once again, you're going to get approximately 8.9 grams of O2. It's going to depend on how many figures you kept in your calculator. You really should keep all the values in your calculator until the very last step and then round. We're rounding to two significant figures because we tried to use at least two the whole way through.